Welcome in YouTubers. I'm Tony Mendez. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're talking about how to remove mortgage insurance through a refinance. Welcome back YouTubers. I'm Tony Mendez. Thanks for joining us today. We're talking about how to remove mortgage insurance through a refinance. It's part three of a series on when to refinance your mortgage. You can always check out some of the past videos here. You can also subscribe when new videos pop up by clicking this button right here. Okay, so you wanna keep your mortgage, but you don't like your mortgage insurance. How do you do that? So before we get started, you have to determine why you have mortgage insurance to begin with. Was it a low down payment purchase? Was it a high loan to value refinance? Did you have to use FHA because of a low credit score, low down payment, or a credit event? Remember, FHA is a, is a favorite choice of people who have credit events like foreclosures, bankruptcies, and short sales. And you may have had to use an FHA loan to purchase or do a refinance. Even high cash out loans, people were forced to use a, an FHA loan. So once you've determined why, then you have to determine if you call it qualify for a new loan that doesn't require mortgage insurance. Has your equity gone up? Has your credit score gone up? Has your uh, wait period been long enough from that foreclosure that you may have had? So once you've determined that, then you can look at some of the rules that we use for refinancing. Is there a benefit to refinance? Are you re-amortizing? Is your rate going lower? Are you taking cash out? Has your credit score improved? We go through all of that stuff in other videos about how to refinance on lowering your rate. That's video number one. Okay, so what if rates go up? Is there still a benefit? I love this example. Let's take a $500,000 purchase with 10% down. That gives you a $450,000 loan. Let's take it at 3%. We're gonna show you an example of where you refinance out of that into a 3.5% loan and it actually makes sense to do the refinance after five years. So on, on the original loan, your payment's $18.97. Let's say your mortgage insurance is $250. Your total payment is $21.47. So then take the new loan. Five years later, your balance is around $400,000. Let's add some costs in at four hundred five. Three and a half percent interest rate, your new payment is 1818. You do the math, that's about 300 and some change lower than what you had, even though your rate is higher. So we see a lot of people do that because it's all about managing your debt as you go through that ownership of that property. Now, the other way that this, that uh, mortgage insurance can get removed is falling off automatically. Now, let's use that same example. Example, a uh, $500,000 purchase, 10% down, $450,000 loan. 78% is the rule that you want to get to on your balance before mortgage insurance falls off automatically. Now that's for conventional loans. In order for your balance at 3% to get to 78%, you have to pay the loan for 72 months or eight years to get that balance to 390,000. Not a lot of people want to wait that long. So they look at refinancing as soon as possible. But FHA has different rules. If you're an FHA loan and you want it to fall off automatically, here are the rules. July 1991 to December 20th, if your loan originated then, your mortgage insurance never falls off. But if you refinance be or finance between January of 2001 to June 3rd of 2013, your mortgage insurance will be canceled once you reach 78%. But any mortgage after that, June 3rd to the present, your mortgage insurance will stay on forever if you put less than 10% down. If you put more than 10% down, you have to wait 11 years. So you can see the advantage here of trying to get rid of mortgage insurance because you get locked in, especially with FHA. Now FHA, I'm not knocking it, has some great examples or reasons why you would wanna use them. We use them all the time. In fact, we have a video about them that you can click right here and see that. But you wanna get out of that mortgage insurance as soon as possible. Have that exit strategy when you get into mortgage insurance and work for you know over that e e few years period on that credit score or that credit event or it, you know building equity, even if you have to put more cash into the loan, get rid of that mortgage insurance. It's all about managing that debt over a period of time. Thanks for joining us today. If you missed any of the other episodes, you can click here. You can always subscribe and get some more information and more videos as they pop up. And don't forget, you can always contact us by going to our Calendly link. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.